Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to exercise our shoulders and before we start with our warm up and mobility drills we are going to do our regular greatest stretch five repetitions on each side without fail. Make sure you get a maximum amount of stretch in your inner thighs, your glutes and your hamstrings because these are the spaces wherein you get most amount of tightness due to regular you know stationary job or any kind of physical activity which involves in you being in a particular position for a long long duration so five repetitions each side without fail every day it's a good amount of help you can also do it before going to sleep and the first thing in the morning regardless so done with our greatest stretch now let's dive into our mobility drills for our shoulder and also uh, stabilizing exercise so for my first exercise i have done this previously i'm doing lying down on a bench i couldn't lie down on the floor the space was <laughs> quite busy so I, I chose to lie down on a bench and i'm taking i have taken two plates 2.5 kilos palms facing up and i started pushing my uh, hands or driving my hands behind my body you know strengthening and activating my posterior muscles especially my ray delts my ins inspraspinatus and supraspinatus making sure they are highly active for all my lifts which i'm going to do in my exercises this is not only the one mobility drill i'm going to do i have also done two others here i have used resistance band quite helpful in terms of stabilizing your shoulders so first one is for my rear delts we have done this previously nothing new the second one is a bit new i am doing overhead presses while keeping a resistance band around my wrist and making sure both my hands go stable and straight up and come down stable with stability and straight down what does this do again engages all our shoulder muscle the entire shoulder griddle muscle fires up and basically it primes us for all the movements in case there are any kind of instabilities that also kind of gets corrected before we start the exercise yes if there are major instabilities that would need a lot of massaging and other corrective exercises but otherwise this is a good way to prepare yourself for your lifts today i'm going to start my day with overhead presses so before going for any weight i chose to do two warm up sets for overhead presses wherein i have taken empty barbell and started pressing it over my head one thing if you notice i have taken the safety racks of the rack uh, setup and placed them quite high so i don't have to actually rack the bar with a great amount of difficulty i can just drop it on the safety bars so it makes my job a little bit easier in terms of getting the weight off the rack and pushing it if you don't have a ra uh, rack setup if you don't have a barbell you can do the exercise with dumbbells if you have a equipment which i have done in my previous videos like a shoulder press you can use that too but i would like you to try barbell overhead press because it is time we start developing more strength in our compound movements i have done three sets try to get 10 repetitions and my last set I couldn't manage quite well I was able to get only six repetitions so I took a break and get got back and got another three repetitions good exercise overall building you can use a little bit of bounce like I am doing at your knee to get the weight up for my second exercise I am doing my rear delt raises with a bar here I'm using the fixed weight bars which are available with me otherwise you can use any bar or dumbbells we have done this in my previous videos also i have done three sets 12 repetitions with increasing weight my focus was to squeeze and you know cause extreme amount of contraction in my ray delt my entire focus was that if you are a bit worried about balance do it on an inclined bench i did that also in my previous videos for my next exercise i am going to do a ladder set i have done this previously wherein you don't take a break in between progressing the weight up 
and then again dropping the weight down you go continuously get try to get as many repetitions as possible with every weight as you increase and decrease to start off with i started with a five kilo dumbbell did 15 repetitions of lateral raises and once i was extremely tired i put them down and go went for the 7.5 then 10 and tried to go for 12 didn't happen started dropping my weight and finished off again at five no actually i grabbed a couple of 2.5 plates and tried to get as many repetitions with the 2.5 also as you can see this exercise is quite demanding it'll give you a lot of blood rushing into your shoulder muscle so make sure you're well hydrated and you have taken enough amount of break before comp uh, before starting this exercise from the last exercise maybe a minute or two catch your breath because we are not going to take any breaks here we are going to go all out and try to get as many repetitions as possible it would be quite challenging it might pain a little bit but that's 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 what we are trying to do or that's what we are trying to induce here so go ahead i was lost in between a little bit because i was trying to search the next weight they were placed a little bit far for me but don't consider it as a break i was just trying to get the dumbbells but i managed to get a good five to ten second break there now i'm i'm on to the next heavy weight so as the weight goes heavier it'll be very difficult for you to do the lateral races raise the uh, dumbbells completely up don't worry it's absolutely fine raise them as much as possible even if they move a few inches away from your body that's good don't try to cheat and get the weight up the exercise is all about focusing all the load at your lateral muscle raise it as much as possible and rest your body will take care of it don't cheat in the form that's the most important part of the ladder set you just keep going with the weights you can use gloves or straps if you feel like your grip is the one which is going to give up otherwise it's absolutely fine focus on getting that pinching uh, contraction in your lateral muscles of your shoulder and just keep going I was able to get four increments of weight I wish to progress to five but these were challenging enough for me for today one set is fine but if you want to challenge yourself you can try for the second set you might not get the as many weight increments as possible here I went for searching for a 2.5 dumbbell that was not available so I immediately grabbed a couple of 2.5 plates 2.5 kilos and continue doing that by now my shoulders were already on fire so the 10 second break did not matter the moment I started lifting my hands they felt like they're going to fall off but that's my objective and it was pretty well achieved and we are done with this exercise oh yes i felt my right hand was not tired enough so i got a few more reps out of it my left was done there was nothing left in my left to raise so for my next exercise this is something and uh, new in my program i did a little bit of stability work wherein i took a kettlebell kept it up and started walking as you can see i wouldn't try to explain it much it's pretty self-explanatory in the video i was just walking with the kettlebell up trying to use my shoulder muscles to stabilize the weight without falling down yes my forearms were also working but it was mostly the shoulders which were engaged why i did this because while doing the shoulder press i experienced a little bit of instability so i thought i will do this exercise see if there is anything you know misfiring or any muscle which is not doing an optimum job but nothing as such i felt great so if you do feel a little bit of instability do this exercise and you can see if what is not firing right whether it's left or right side which muscle is not working well and that exercise definitely helps you in correcting that for my next shoulder exercise i was i chose to do the uh, ray delt squeeze uh, ray delt equipment so ray delt flies i'm sorry so here what i have done is usually i don't get maximum contractions on this because my mid traps and my upper traps jump in very quickly and my ray delt 
becomes uh, you know my basically my traps get quite dominant so what i have done is i tried to lean as much forward as possible i made sure the bar is in line with my hand and my shoulders and i kept the range of motion quite tight i did not let the bar completely go forward i kept it just across my body as you can see here from behind i come completely back stop there and don't let the bar completely close off keep the uh, tension there don't let the weight touch down what does this do this starts firing up all the muscles in your posterior chain so just in case if your traps are dominating this exercise they would not be able to do for long because every muscle has to jump in to contribute again great exercise for your posterior chain strengthening that rare shoulder griddle make sure you lean a little bit forward and also you keep the bar in line with your shoulder and your hands for my next exercise i'm going to do the donkey calf raises i was supposed to do this earlier but i was so excited to do my shoulder exercises i just started off and then later i saw my calf muscles and i was like no i have to still work on them but as you can see all that regular consistent work is really shaping up my calf started developing a bit not as much as i like in terms of size but the definition truly is coming out i might i will i will see what i can do in future to intensify this training a little bit more maybe my calves can you know withstand a little bit more of work and if you are doing this with me as we as as i requested you to because calves are quite important i hope your calves are also starting to show some improvement in terms of size and shape and that's it for my calves exercise for my last exercise i am going to do face pulls two sets as many repetitions as possible using two rope attachments to get extra bit of stretch you know how to do this drive with your wrist never drive with your elbows and try to squeeze your posterior chain as much as possible getting that maximum amount of squeeze and always let the rope go all the way out get that stretch while keeping it under tension so two sets as many repetitions as possible so for my last bit i am going to do the endurance training for my forearm today i was able to get more than a minute so what i have done is i have sped up the speeded up the uh, video a little bit for you to not waste time so again vertical hangs for the win or the dead hangs for the win to ensure endurance is good in our forearms we keep doing this we keep improving of course it is challenging to do this end of a workout in in the beginning it's it might be a little bit easier but i would like to always stick to the end you know challenge that four arms a little bit more and that's it thank you so much for joining me that's been my shoulder workout for today i hope you liked it if you did please do like the video if you haven't yet subscribed please do subscribe to the channel if you have any feedback please drop a comment i am finishing off my workout with the compression two sets each hand 10 circles simply just lean forward and try to touch the floor but not actually touch it and then make small circles on the floor decompressing your shoulder again thank you so much for joining me i hope the exercises are working well for you like they are for me i'm really happy with the results they are giving it to me and i i'm starting to see a build up of strength a bit of change in my physical appearance i hope that's the same for you if you haven't been able to see any difference it's absolutely fine we all take our own time so take your time build your strength try to make that small small improvements as we as i always suggest and i i'm pretty sure consistency will always give you results intensity we can get it that get that any time but be consistent and we will get the results again thank you so much for joining me and i will see you in the next video